Sophie, Countess of Wessex impressed the people of the Cayman Islands with her dodgeball skills as she joined in a game while visiting a YMCA camp. She and her husband Prince Edward are currently finishing a three-day tour of the Caribbean islands, however their children Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn remained at home. On Tuesday Sophie paid a visit to the YMCA Field of Dreams in Georgetown to meet children attending the camp while on their midterm break from school. She happily joined in a game of dodgeball, declaring what could possibly go wrong, as she lined up with her team ahead of the start. Dressed in a floaty grey, white and blue summer dress the Countess was filmed eagerly playing alongside the children. Local reporter Reshma Ragunath said Sophie nailed it on the playing field. Sophie and Edward arrived on the islands on Monday and are due to depart on Wednesday, however they have managed to fit lots into their brief trip. On Wednesday Sophie will officially open the annual agriculture show by ringing the cowbell, according to a statement announcing the royal visit. Afterwards she will take a tour of the showground accompanied by the territory's premier Wayne Panton. While there Sophie and Edward also launched the Central Caribbean Marine Institute's new coral fund, which is trying to raise almost £3 million to develop the facility. After leaving the Cayman Islands on Wednesday the couple will travel to another British overseas territory, the Turks and Caicos Islands, which they will leave on Thursday. The two Wessex children, Louise, 19, and James, 15, have remained at university and school during the trip. Lady Louise is currently a student at the University of St Andrews, studying English. It is the same university where her cousin Prince William met his wife Kate Middleton when they were both studying there in the early 2000s. James is in year 10 at school, meaning he enjoyed a break last week due to the half-term holiday. The Wessexes had a break from royal engagements last week too, as did the Prince and Princess of Wales to coincide with half-term. i